Don't ask me what just happened. It cycled to my desktop and then popped back without actually crashing. So I guess that's good. Mm. So what you're supposed to do is hit this switch which causes a key to drop inside but that key dropping by itself or wait no that's later excuse me yeah inside the freezer there's a button you can push which causes a key to drop inside but it'll put the spider inside to a second alert which we obviously don't want oh wait I keep forgetting I have a rope arrow Can't have that, though. <sighs> okay. I obviously- I need to avoid mantling. And instead, make a jump for the silent edge. Very good. Now, up on top, we can get the key without having to push the button that drops it down. Hold on, my game just slowed down to an almost unplayable frame rate. They're quick loading. Fixed it temporarily. Okay, good. Let me find the key first. Okay, yeah, it's over here on the right. I just need to be silent and get the key. which we will need Well, I'll have to... I'll have to grab one of the building A keys and relock this. But I need it to successfully use a certain engine exploitation to get to the next spot anyway. Oh, Hello? that's not good. I don't know why my frame rate is suddenly taking hits, y'all, but it does worry me. I'll say that much. Uh, he's he's got nowhere to come except this way.
it's there. Yeah, I thought so. There's always a way, friends. Oh, Someone, don't hurt me! Oh my gosh, are you serious? There I was, getting all cocky that I had found the way to avoid an alert, even here. All these different people hanging out. But no. He's either coming out this door, or at the very least, he's bumping into me. Good lord. Never a break. Never a break. Hopefully, we can get into the main office now. Hmm. Thought I saw something. Well, we'll be able to as soon as he turns. <coughs> Hopefully, he feels like doing that before too long. Grab that building A key. I'm gonna leave the uh, Minel Stakes door open for now just so I can drop the key back inside there. Obviously, I can't drop it back on top of the freezer. That clang will most certainly alert the spider, but check out this exploit. I was able to hit the lock through the wall and open the door that way. Obviously that's an engine exploit which busts uh, Supreme Ghost, but whatever, I don't care. Now the blue key from the freezer will open the safe in this office. Oh, and it disappears so I don't have to return it anyway. That's our sixth of 13 secrets, and that would be uh, Minel's recipe. I imagine. Brings our loot total to 1,025. Very good. Very good. So, I guess I can use the building A key to relock this door. since I don't have to worry about returning the uh, blue key after all. And uh, I still need to get the statue from the ground floor. And... Then I'll be done with minor stakes. So... But vision remains intact for stationary spiders in Thief 2. Same as it was in Thief Gold. Now I think we can get this with nothing but first alerts. It's worth 15, it brings our total to 1,040. I'm going to 
relock this door. Now I need to return the building A key and given the way these guys move, I think that going this way and just completing the circle will be easier. Alright, we only have one uh, warehouse left in building A, that's TM Blackheart. No, I highly doubt, well, I'm not going to be able to put it back on the bar right next to him, so the best I'll be able to do is drop it in the room without alerting anyone. Oh, stay turned, Benny, just for a little bit. You hear that? Oh. Damn coffee bowl is broken. Let's face it again. There we go. What did I see there? I did not want to slide off the bar. Oh noise. Okay, need to need to stay quieter. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I need to just want to get back down to the ground level and open up black carts. Which I think I should be able to do from out here without too much trouble. Perfect. Not so perfect, but no alerts means we're okay. Same idea there. Alright. Goodbye, my spider friends. You're really not my friends. I hate you. No. Okay, we're going to have to wait for him to pass by. Fine and dandy if you ask me. Black card, I think, is five one eight eight. Oh, let's open his up. Let's wait for him to get clear one last time. Uh, 
as we slip. I hear this guy is quite a popular musician. His unpublished work should be valuable. Mechanist instructions. If thou wouldst unlock this kind of door, thou wilt need to use the, per the appropriate gear. Insert thou the correct gear unto the locking mechanism. When the mechanism be complete with the correct gear, then marvel thou as the gear's turn to unlock the door. For those with no eye to tell one gear from its cousin, know thou also that if thou use the incorrect gear, the mechanism shall fail thee and nothing shall happen. If thou hast concerns, please bring them unto me, friend Capetza. I think the... The gear for this is somewhere in this room. Yeah, it's right over here. Now the problem is that you can't, uh, well, it's not much of a problem, but you can't relock those. But in here there is a flute and a recording. Bring our loot total to 1115. Now we are done with building A, which means we are done with that yellow key. So before I go tackle building B, I'm going to uh, return the yellow key to the main office. I'm trying to think what the easiest way to do that is, and I actually think going up this ladder and hitting the catwalk works pretty well. <gasps> it's noisy, but if you time it right, it's fine. Very good. Same idea with the main office. I think it's a lot easier to sneak in if we head this direction. Except I think I just... No, I didn't. I'm good. And I'll just say, right now, since I have the opportunity, and I didn't really talk that much before starting, this is one of the best missions in the game, I think. One of the best missions in any of the games. Just because it's so big, and it's so non-linear, and it's... <coughs> It's challenging, particularly if you're out to find any everything. Leave me alone. Particularly if you're out to find everything, it's challenging. Hey. Hello? But it's not impossibly challenging. <coughs> there are plenty of shadows to hide in. And wait for wait for things to calm down as long as you're patient enough. I just need to wait for Benny here. There are several iterations of Benny. This is one of them. Wait for him to turn away. <coughs> I don't like the looks of that. I'm not playing. All right. Well, got another guy coming in. So let's get out get of here. Get the guy map around here. We got to get out of that guy's way. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, something. Okay, yeah, I need to need to wait for the space to be empty. Benny, turn your back again. You see that? That too? Give me your back, buddy. There we go. So a couple of things. Drop the key, you're not gonna get it back into that niche. But if you want everything back as it was, make sure you <coughs> make sure you hit four zeros into the control. <coughs> and remember they are anchored to each other, which is good. So now all the controls have the four zeros on them. Now we're all set to go clear out building B. These old buildings make too much noise. I completely forgot about the guy in his office able to see me through his little door panel. But he only first alerted, so So for building B, I'm going to start at the top and work my way down. At least I think I am. Obviously I'm going to have to check things out, but we can cross over to building B this way. Just be wary, there is one more guard patrolling in here. I don't know if he's gonna... Yeah, he's not heading out yet. He'll probably see me. Nope, he won't. Good. So here we arrive at building B. We're on the third floor right now where there's a conference room and President Rambone's office. And here we have a watcher, the first one. Now Supreme Ghost forbids us from deactivating watchers and we also can't have a single chirp from them. Like that, that's a first alert from a watcher. which we can't have. I think I can get down here without one. Just need to time the attempt right. Okay, move too soon. No problem. I wonder. Is he 
coming down here. Of course he is. Hey! <laughs> what was that? Crud on a stick. I thought no one patrolled in here. Anyway, we had to take a first alert from the archer because I made a stupid save. I really didn't think anyone came down there. Something moved there! Good grief, buddy! <coughs> Problems, aren't you? Later, bro. Let's try this again. I'm just near certain that if I time this right, I can manage to avoid even a first alert chirp from that watcher. Obviously, what I need is more speed. Now we can squat down underneath him. See, he told you it was possible. Now, inside the office... I don't think there's anything out here, but this is our seventh of 13 secrets. Back here, there's a candlestick, brings our total to 1165, and some reading material. Profits for our dockside warehouses have been tremendous ever since my brother Jason convinced me to let the mechanists use Building B for their needs. They have taken over and converted all four storage bays to contain their machinery and incoming cargo. This has really hurt my shipping contracts. I lost 12 contracts recently because the cargo had to be stored outside instead of the now occupied storage bays. Mechanists are now using my workforce to move their cargo and assist in their various projects, and I have barely any workers left to handle my remaining contracts. They have more than compensated us for our losses, but still they worry me. They threatened me harm when I refused to evict Gonzalez, one of the longtime tenants of Building A, so one of their inventors could set up a machine shop. The new machine shop happens to be right under my poor brother's office, and he's been complaining about the noise constantly. I guess I should be happy about the money the mechanists are paying me, but I feel like they are taking over, and I don't even get a say as to what happens on my own property anymore. Interesting. Uh, I don't know if we can reclose this or not. Yes, we can. Now this is quite a bit easier than our first effort. So you can just pop under him. And pop through the other side. Into the conference room. Now all that's in here is a plate and four coins. Bringing our loot total to 1195.
<laughs> when you're confident the guard is clear, you can zoom out, shut the door, get underneath the watcher one more time. And then as it turns, run down the hall till you hit the shadows. I needed to run a little bit farther, but there you go. Made it. Wait for him to turn away one last time, then we'll get clear of this hallway. Oops. Wasn't paying attention. Waited too long. And there we go. Now that elevator takes you to all three levels of building B. I don't really want to do that. I'd rather just take the stairs down. As you can see, watchers aren't very particular with their first alerts. They trip very easily but let's move on down to the second floor so here on the second floor of building B we've got the Beckettist project bay which we don't really need the rare artifact bay which we definitely do need and six offices we only need to get into one of the offices but also of note in building B we haven't had to mess with these for a while but there's some pickpockets to grab Archer's arrows are our 12th pickpocket. And that building B key is our 13th out of 17. And we can get into most of these offices no problem, but... Honestly, I can't remember which one has something useful in it. I guess I'll just... Mechanist City Planner. Oh, okay. I'll be able to tell. Mechanist Accounting Secretary. I should check, check them all for reading material, though. None in there. J. Herman, Business Coordinator, Rampone Dockside Shipping. Stand for them, be recognized. Hey, is someone there? Yeah, nothing in that one, either. Now, I'm going to let these guys pass by again. You've probably already noticed that the archer moves a lot faster than the swordsman, which accounts for their variant distances from each other. <laughs> Foreman's office has some reading material. Manifest of contents. Iron ore, bronze, copper, grain, paper, tar. Okay. It's never really uh, I got spotted. <laughs> well, as far as I'm concerned, we've read the manifest of contents. 
Mechanist project planning. Nothing in there. So it must be the very last one. J. Osterland Supervisor, Rampone Dockside Shipping. Yes, yes, yes. Right, right, right. We can't even get inside. I remember now. Okay. I know we need this key for something, though. Maybe it's to get into the rare artifact bay. this from outside? No. Where are the controls for these bays? Are they in the supervisor's office too? Or can I just directly open the door? I didn't think it'd be that easy. Well, let's go down to the first floor for now. Since I don't actually know that this is useful, I'm going to go ahead and return it to his patrol route. Mm. Mm. Noise, stop! Okay, I'm going to have to wait for... Wait for Benny to get by, too. The switches for the bays are in one of these. Ah, oh, yeah, here we go. Let's open up bay four and head into there. This is the rare artifact bay. There are five pieces of loot in here. Lost City style stuff, you might remember. It's not down on the ground floor. No, it's not. It's gotta be in here somewhere, but where? That is the question. So the five pieces of loot in the rare artifact bay bring our total up to a cool 1300. Close the bay back. And now we'll go down to the first floor. We're gonna have to come back up here later to break into Osterlin's office once we get the appropriate key. Okay, okay, okay. I I remember how things go now. So now we can descend 
to the first floor of Building B. And right through this little storeroom. A well-placed rope arrow. And get us to something important. Come on. <laughs> this is our eighth of 13 secrets. We don't actually need either of the chests. They are a scouting orb and an, and an invisibility potion. So we'll just take the secret and be happy with that. And we need to get back on the rope. And I actually find it's easier to retrieve it and fire it into the side. Now, I think we can do this without getting hurt. But it will make noise. So we just have to listen carefully. Alright. Onward! <coughs> okay, he's gonna come in here. Now we can move out to the first floor of Building B. First things first. You see this patrolling thief? Oh, I'm gonna wait for him to come back in, because he's got a key we need. Maybe, maybe we've got more time than I thought. We can get across here. Yes, that's good. Oh, that's not the right one. Well, here's our 14th pickpocket of 17. There, I see the key. Davidson's key is the 15th of 17 pickpockets. While we're out here, I'm gonna go ahead and get one more. I think it's this side. This isn't a good shadow. I don't know. I don't know. Hello? Yeah, I didn't think so. What? You saw me then. Alright. Somebody first alerted to me. Don't know who, don't know where. Here's a good shadow to wait in. The ship is going to be far and away the most complicated part of this mission. But you'll notice that even though this mission has taken a long time, no one part has really given us a lot of trouble. That's what I like about it. It's just big. There's lots to do. It's fun. I love it.
So there are 16 out of 17 pickpockets. <coughs> now that we have Davidson's key, I'm going to go back and hit the supervisor's office. You need to be wary of the archer and the thieves, but you need to squeak around this corner and head back through this door. Things won't be too bad. Get our backtracking done first. Head back up to the second floor. Hope I don't run into that one guard I saw patrol into the storage room. No, we're good. We're good. I'm going to break right. I always think it's easier to follow behind guys wherever possible. Move the same direction they're moving. Go with the flow, as it were. So Davidson's key will open the supervisor's office. And in here we find... Davidson, smuggling spice has become difficult since Rampone let the mechanists use this building. Hide the spice in the usual location and take your payment. Osterlind. Okay. Now let's open this crate. That's a bag of spice. Brings our total to 1320. And you might remember we have an objective to find five bags of spice. So we need to find four more. Get back down to ground level. Can't a guy nap around here? <sighs> oh good, they're close together, so if we wait for them to pass, we should be just fine. <sighs> so can relock that door and head back down to the first floor. Now the first floor also has a couple of fancy spots. The designers intended you to break a window to get to one of the bags of spice. But as we know, breaking a window busts even our normal ghost. Fortunately, there's a way around having to break that window. <coughs> all right, all right. Hound into the first floor. Once again. Plenty of goodies to find in here, namely, one rope arrow, which we will need, and three bags of spice. So, yeah, I can't make that mantle, didn't think I could. A rope arrow might let me do it. <gasps> Have to be careful of that because 
even though the crates look wooden and the uh, texture brush, if you land on one, is not wood. It's metal, as you heard. So we need to hold on to Davidson's key for all these spice crates. There's our second bag of spice. Brings our, to brings our total to 1340. There are more than five bags of spice. It's just the mission objective is to find five, you know? So I'll call that my second of five, but in reality, there are more. See, I think the designers intended you to have to break that window to get to that bag, but... Handy rope arrow solves the problem. And there are two more bags to find, and I know we need the second rope arrow to get to the third one. So. Yeah, there's nothing, nothing else up here. Ooh. Well, that was far from silent. No one heard it, so I think we're fine. Okay. I know where I am now. This chest has the second rope arrow in it. So... The first thing to do is just land the rope arrow we already have as close to it as possible so we can pick the lock and grab the second arrow oh, see too far away maybe maybe I can actually yeah I can okay For those keeping count, that is our ninth of 13 secrets. Nine out of 13. And now on the other side of this chest is a bag of spice, which we need that there's only one intended way to get to, which is to break a window which Ghost doesn't allow. Fortunately, people have found a way around that. Starts with our rope arrows. We want to place a rope so that there's just a tiny bit of space between it and the chest. We don't want it to actually dangle into the chest. We want it as close as possible without that happening. I think that looks good. Now we need our first rope in place. We need to get on it. And we need to jump onto the second rope. <laughs> Which I think I'm successfully doing now. So the trick then, after you get on the second rope, is to look west, and you saw how the engine shifted Garrett a little. Then you want to look down and open the chest. And you saw Garrett shift a little more right when I did that. And what that should do is if we press backward and hit jump we find ourselves on the other side of the chest how cool was that thank you to 
sneak old man and Peter Smith for devising that method, and thank you to Clotramus for putting it on his website where I was able to locate it for my own use. <sighs> ah, there it is. <sighs> so... Well, there was a first alert. Don't know where it came from, but... Open that up. There's our third bag of spice out of five. Brings our loot total to 1360. And now... We can get out by picking this door open. But I think I'd rather go back through the crate because I don't know if I can... Or through the chest because I don't know if I can relock that. Of course, I don't know if it works in reverse or not. No, I don't think it'll work in reverse. So I'm gonna have to pick this open and then go back to the second floor, get the building B key and try to relock it. No big deal, not really.